Hmm. What do you think about that? Does it remind you of anything we've learned about? Some eyes in the dark, looking around. Well, we're finishing up our unit on senses. And we read a story called The Science Behind Sight. We've read a lot about animal senses and different kinds of stories. Believe it or not, we are finishing the, uh, the second unit in our reading book about the senses. Time just flies, doesn't it? It's hard to believe that we're finishing it up. But we are. We are. And so I just want us to think today about a few things as we finish it up before you take your story test, before you take your uh, spelling test today. Uh, let's just finish it up and uh, talk about some things, how our stories are related and how we failed as we read through the stories. And so we've talked about this before at the end of unit one, but synthesizing, when you synthesize, your thinking changes and you form new ideas. So he goes, what I know, what I'm learning and a new understanding I've gained. So you probably knew a little bit about the five senses when we started this unit, but we learned a lot about the five senses and now I have a new understanding. So it's like a math equation, a dish equation. What I know plus what I'm learning equals my new understanding. And so I just want to go through here and I'll just talk about me and you can think about how you felt as you were reading through the stories in this unit. At first I was thinking, well, I'll be honest with you. At first, when we started this mod, this, this unit on the senses, I was thinking this is going to be boring because we already do science. I don't want to have another science lesson during ELA. That's why I was thinking it was going to be boring. But when I was reading, I was thinking, hey, this stuff's really interesting and cool because I'm not, I didn't know a lot of this stuff. So I was learning a lot as we were reading through the stories. And by the end, I was thinking, you know, I really appreciate all five of my senses. I'm glad that I can see and smell and hear and taste and touch because we, we read some stories about, especially, um, um, the one story about the boy who had a guide dog because he was blind. He didn't have the sense of sight. And so it made me appreciate my sight better. And so I found as I was going through these stories this, this time, it wasn't so boring after all. I actually enjoyed all of them. And so I hope you did too. I hope you enjoyed reading the stories. You know, the last one we read was about uh, silence. The story we've read this week, The Game of Silence. You couldn't hear anything. Everything would be silent, wouldn't it? So I learned a lot and I learned to appreciate the senses that we have. Now, <clears throat> let's make some connections to our text. When you read, find ways that the text is like things in your own life and other, te and other texts that you have read. So we can connect a text we read to ourselves. Let's just... Let me just say the text we've read in this unit again. We started off with three weeks ago with just a little story called What Are the Five Senses? And it taught us about our five senses. Then we read The Science Behind Sight. And that was about how our eyes work and how we're able to see things. It also got into how animals' sight was different. And then we watched a, an informational video called Animal Senses. And learned a lot more about animals' senses in that video. And then the next week, we read the story Blind Ambition, or maybe that was the same week. We read the story Blind Ambition about the boy Matthew and his, his guide dog that leads him. He's blind. And then we read this week, The Game of Silence. So text to self. How, how can we connect a text to ourself? Well, this reminds me of a time when I... Well, uh, when we were reading the story about Matthew, who was blind, it reminded me of a friend of mine that I haven't seen in a long time. His name was Randy, and uh, he's blind, and he was he's uh, quite a bit older than me. He's probably in his 60s, but he was blind, and, and so I used to direct a choir at a church, and he sang in the choir. So he loved music, even though he couldn't see. He couldn't see the words that we were reading to sing. He couldn't see the music notes but he used his other sense of hearing. 
and he listened very closely and would learn the words to the song by hearing everybody else sing them. And I would make him CDs of the songs we were singing so he could hear them over and over and memorize them. And he was a great, great singer. He would sing solos even at my church sometimes. So the blind guy in the story, Matthew, I think his name was, reminded me of my friend Randy, who's blind. Um, text to text. This is like another book I've read. Well, let's see. What do you think? The Game of Silence, um, it reminded me a little bit, not so much of a, a historical fiction text, but I think as we were reading The Game of Silence this week and we found out that the whole point of them being silent was for the adults to be able to discuss that the settlers were coming in and taking their land away, that just reminded me of text we've read in social studies, some of the, some of the informational lesson texts that we've had in social studies. Because we read as we were starting the year about the 13 colonies, about the conflicts between the settlers and the Native Americans when the settlers came onto their land. So it reminded me of that text. And then text to the world. Connect the text to the world that's around you. This is like something that happens in my community. Well, you know, one of the things that uh, uh, I thought of, too, is in our community. Have you ever been over there? It's not too far from Fred Miller Park. And there's a little factory there called Volunteer Blind Industries. And and they make mattresses really good. I've never bought one from there, but I hear they're really good mattresses. And the people that work inside there are blind. And so this factory provides a job for blind people or mostly blind people. Some people can see just a little bit, but maybe not good enough to drive. And so there's people there who work there who are legally blind. And so this gives them a job and a chance to make some money. And so I guess that's something that happens in our community that helps people who are who does not have one of these senses. So there's a way to connect the text to our our world. It's your world, too, because we all live in the same city. So making connections in our when we read stories, it helps us understand the stories better. And it also helps us enjoy the stories better. And it means more to us as we read the stories when we can make these connections like we just did. Well, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time with lessons today because I know you want to go make an A on your story test on the Game of Silence. Now, it's going to also have your vocabulary words from the Game of Silence. And I'm going to throw in five questions on verbs since we've been working on verbs this week into that test, too. So. Uh, take your time, make a good job on that test. Then you've got a spelling test for ELA today, and that's all. And then you're done for another week, and I'm ready for the weekend, aren't you? I hope you have a great one. Go get those things done for me now.